Hey everybody, Brooks and Drag Times here. Welcome back to the channel. So I've been talking a while about picking up the car that basically started Drag Times. It's a 93 Mazda RX-7 red base model. I've been looking for quite a while. So starting Drag Times was basically drag racing this car. I used to keep a list of everyone's times in an Excel spreadsheet and upload that to the internet and um, keep track of the fastest RX-7s in the country. And as I started doing that, people from around the country and around the world were asking me to add their cars too. So eventually I expanded, built out a database and uh, started tracking times for all cars. Registered the domain name dragtimes.com and basically started drag times. And it all started with the Mazda RX-7. So after modifying my car, going low 11s in the quarter mile, going through a couple rotary engines, I moved on, sold the car, and I went into the Viper community. And then actually four weeks after selling my RX-7, it was flipped upside down and totaled. So that's a very, very long time ago. I've been looking for a clean RX-7 for a long time and I might have found the car. Look at this Mazda RX-7. This is the base model. It actually has the R1 lip on the front. All original, 16,000 miles unmodified except for a downpipe in here. And wow, this brings back so many memories of drag racing. and modifying it and taking out motors and differentials and all that kind of stuff. Actually replaced the gear in the transmission and I'm thinking it's time to bring back a car like this. So let's check it out. It's got the original wheels back here. This is the base model so it has no sunroof and no rear wing and no rear wiper. Does not have the bow system because that came with the touring. But wow, this car is just super, super clean. Look at the side. There's not a dent or a ding on the car. Even these pieces are looking in really, really great condition. Now this car is actually optioned with the optional leather seats in the base model. So initially I thought it might've been a touring because it had leather seats. My car had the base cloth seat. So I gotta admit, not quite a fan of the leather seats. So I might actually replace these seats with the suede seats that came on the R1 or possibly find a set of base seats. That might be hard to actually find. But everything's super clean. Original paint, this is the vintage red. I probably wouldn't do a lot of modifications. I've actually been going back and forth, either to buy a highly modified one and go for a three rotor single turbo setup and go for a fast car, keep one that's all original, because then at the end of the day, it's not gonna be that fast. I'm not gonna do any drag racing with it. It's just to go back to the roots of drag times. But engine bay is really, really clean here. I mean, mine was completely modified. I had moved the battery to the back. I had a big intercooler, air box. Um, I took out the sequential turbos and made it uh, one, made the both turbos run at the same time. Uh, but everything's super, super clean. There's a little re residue right here, but uh, let's hop inside. Let's check out the interior. Wow, this brings back so many cool memories. Of course, you got manual seats. We'll put the key in here, give it a start. Stock exhaust, not real loud. Of course, we're in warm-up mode, so the tack comes down. Let's see what the thing idle like. Wow, I just missed this car a lot. This is so cool to be inside this car again. Transmission feels pretty good. Back in reverse. One thing about the 93s is these kind of get a little sticky and weird. In 94 and up, they went to a more textured material on the um, dash and everything, but this is in really, really good condition considering. Let's see if the AC works. There you go. Idle's pretty good. Look at this mileage, 15,000. 931 miles, really, really low mileage. And the condition, they got all the original books and everything in here. Seats are in amazing condition too. Back here, we got compartments where you can store some things. Visibility is really cool. I think this car weighs like 2,600 pounds. 
and had 255 horsepower and was actually a pretty quick car back in the day. Even down here, the little, this is a little broken here, I guess, but that's no big deal. But door handle, door locks, the windows work. Yeah, I did. It's working. It's working. Yeah, AC's working really good. This is the cover for the for the battery and right. this is the all the books and materials. Yeah. The book, the, the, all the paperwork I keep in a binder. Right. Yeah, I mean it's um I don't remember. Was there an upgraded stereo in here? Or well, this was some, it? Well, I can't remember. And I don't remember it was an option. I seen some that have a like a like an, an equalizer or something. Oh yeah, maybe there's a dual DIN unit yes. that came broke in here, but I remember I had this compartment, so might have might have might have been the same too. Turn the headlights on. Okay. So you can see that all the lights in the car work. Yep, pop up headlights, there you go. And it has everything while the lights inside the car work that works in there. Yeah. These lights work up here. Right. The antenna works. Yeah, maybe this was replaced because this is lighting up green instead of yeah, red. It could have been. That's, that's Interesting. How I got the car. Yeah, I can't remember. And then you got the but dash. You know, yeah. If you have a cassette tape, that means you're dating yourself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this car doesn't have Bluetooth. There's no Bluetooth stereo. No, no, Bluetooth. no Bluetooth in the car. The word Bluetooth exists. As you can see, the pop-up headlights work. But yeah, wow. So the headlights are actually pretty clear as well. I actually added the little fog lights to mine in the bottom. Yeah, the little round, the little round ones, so they were from Pia back in the day. This yeah. actually has, Pia, yeah. This actually has the R1 front splitter on the front, which I like that. Um, but other than that, it's all original. The car looks just amazing. Look at this. Yeah. What an awesome example. And it's got the original vintage red paint. Everything on here looks really good. And then these were repainted. Were they? Yeah, yeah the mirrors tend to um, fade over time. I remember mine even faded, even we when I had we, it. We removed the mirror housings, and we actually put the mirrors in the, in the oven. Okay, really? Yeah. Okay. So we could get the heat to release the, the backing of the, of the actual glass. And how do they match the color these days? Is that oh, still yeah, a color code a for that? Yes. Really? Oh, wow. Like That's great. Oh, very well. And then, yeah, I remember there's a there's little levers back there. I forget what those are for. That you can move. I believe that you can move the... Uh... Pull that open. Does that... Oh, does this come out? No. Oh, yeah, look at folds that. Folds forward. Folds forward. Or you, or you can take it out completely. I forget even having that. Interesting. Some of them lose it. I don't know. Yeah. I've never even put it on and off. And back here, I think, were some tools and stuff like that. Yeah, right in there. Yeah, the jack. And I said, does this car have a spare tire? I don't Absolutely. even remember. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, this car is amazing. Everything's in great shape. Absolutely. Look at that. All the stickers yeah. and everything. The car's never been hit. So. Wow. What do you think it'll go for? Well, do you have any idea? It's at 50500 It's at 50000 now, yep. Um, I'm not going to give away where it's at, but this video will probably come out after I either buy or not buy the car. So we'll see. I'm definitely bidding on it right now. I was outbid, but I... Because it was a Miami, I figured why not come down and check it out. 76,000, this has 16,000. Wow. It's so quiet. Mine was like pop, 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 pop. <laughs> making all this noise. I wonder how everything holds up suspension wise and all that kind of stuff after 30 years. I mean, is this car 30 years old almost, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not raining, so. All right, well, he was nice enough to let me drive it around the corner. Let's just jump in and, uh, I still remember I drive stick. That's good. Look at that. The mirrors even work. No I, paddle just, shifts, huh? I just can't believe everything works in this car. Yeah, no paddle shifts. But I have an, I have an 05 Ford GT. It does, yeah. Look at that. I almost stalled it. I mean, it still moves. Factory rate it was two fifty five. Two fifty five, yeah. <laughs> Love it. I mean for a ninety three wow. dude. Yeah. You know, you really I actually had a three thousand GT. 
VR4 before this. Oh, beautiful. Ended up getting in some kind of race back in the day, and this little thing whooped me. And I'm like, <laughs> no way. And then I put exhaust and intake on the 3000. It still beat me. Yeah. It was a little yellow R1, and that was it. I brought it in and traded for this car. Well, you know, these are very responsive to like mods. Oh, yeah. Exhaust mods. Yeah, mine was making about 400, 400 wheel, rear wheel horsepower when I got rid of it. This one, I, I probably leave it the same way. No, I won't touch it's this. It's hard. too, it's too pristine. Yeah. There was two methods of thought: either buy one that's all modified and go with like a three-road right. or single turbo. Yeah. But then again, it's still not going to be that fast compared to what else I'm driving. You know? Oh I mean, yeah, for sure. I mean, nothing beats the Tesla, anyways. <laughs> no, so like, what are you doing? That, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's wow. just more for a, you know, it's a period car. Yeah. You know, you're not really finding a car with the analog setup like this anymore. You know, everything's all digital now. Yeah. And a lot of the turbos were modified and stuff exactly. like that. And yeah. these turbos are original. They're right. Shape. The original sequential, for sure. Yeah. So, and this is the only year that had the uh, single airbag. So you don't have a passenger airbag on. Oh, it saves weight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Less weight. Yeah. It drives great. No sunroof. Yeah, I don't like the sunroof either. Just yeah. more stuff to go wrong. Exactly. You know, you got those seals and a little more headroom. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah. I'm literally out of room. Like, if I buy this, my new Tesla Plaid has to stay outside. Ooh. Yeah. Because I got the old Ford GT. I got the Huracan, the 765. I got a Ferrari coming. We're and then there's... Do, oh, yeah, I remember your... I saw your overview in uh, yeah. San Juan. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I saw that. Um, we'll let him put it back in there. Looks like the rotors were changed because they're drilled. A little brake rotor change. You got it, it had the, I guess. Look what else we got here. R, I don't, if I say it wrong, they'll kill me online. R32. Look what we got here. We got R32 GTR. Single turbo, what, you said 700 horsepower? Ooh, man, it's red too. They're gonna do a package deal? RX-7 and, and the GTR? <laughs> it's red, I love red. I love red too. <laughs> wow, look at this thing. Right-hand drive, I don't know if I could, a lot of people are trying to get me to buy the RX-7 in right-hand drive, but I don't know. It takes 15 minutes to get used to it. Look, yeah, that's it? That's it. Look at this. Look at that size of that turbo in here. Wow. I'm seeing a little theme here too. You like red cars as well. Oh yeah. Look at that. We got Porsche, Miata, RX-7, Ferrari. What's the little one called again? Mazda AZ-1 Autozam. Mazda AZ-1 Autozam. This thing has gold wing doors. Look at the doors on this car. Three-cylinder turbo, how much horsepower? 68? 63 horsepower with the gullwing doors. Randy, I'm gonna beat you in this against your SLS you just got. Look at this. That's a cool little car. It is cool. You drive this around? I do, all yeah? the time. All the time? <laughs> Mid-engine, three-cylinder, 68 horsepower with probably a little tiny turbo. Where's the turbo? It's on the front. It's on the front? Okay, gotcha. This must be fun to drive. Oh, it's a cool to drive. Yeah. It sounds pretty cool too. It does. Everything about this car is This is really cool. Wow. All right, so that's a wrap. This car is in incredible condition. I'm definitely going to be bidding on it. By the time this video comes out, I'll either have the car or not. But nevertheless, uh, really appreciate Juan coming out and showing me the car, taking it for a drive. And uh, wow. Mazda RX-7, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Should we add this to the Drag Times Garage? Thanks for watching.